And what keeps you coming back to the to the Pottinger? Um, just the very good machines. They've been done us very well. Yeah. Maybe lasting longer than some of the other ones. Um, yeah, like them. Easy to maintain, easy to drive. Parts, if you need, they're very... Local dealers got them all in stock and off you go. So, yeah. yeah. And why do you sort of go for the jumbo models? Um, just heavier duty. Seems to stand the pace. We've not got massive tractors, but yeah, doing a lot of loads. Um, sometimes they're up to a thousand a year each machine. Oh, so right. Yeah, they're standing up to it well. So yeah. just, once we've got a jumbo, we've kept to a jumbo. That That's was, it. That was it. So, exactly. Yeah. And how many acres would you sort of put through them roughly a year? it varies around the four thousand, sometimes more just right. depends how it goes sometimes a wee bit less yeah a lot of guys going on to this multi-cut thing so maybe more acres and less loads it just it works yeah out. It seems to seems to go but yeah that's it and what's the because i mean it sounds like the popularity of the forage wagon round here mm. has grown and grown yeah. what do you think it is it about the forage wagons that people are liking saving fuel it's a big thing, um, the staff requirement as well. Um, and they get around the big tyres, they, they move on over the ground quite yeah. nicely compared to some trailers, but yeah. Well, yeah. that's it, because there's, I mean, you've got plenty of hills around here. Yeah, there's hills. There's, there's a few, hills. probably there's, a few wet spots oh, there as well. Oh, there's goes from lovely stuff. You can grow potatoes to moss very yeah. quickly, so yeah. But like I say, they travel fairly oh, well. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Quite, am quite amazing. When we saw the first one, we thought, it's going to be a monument in a field someday, but <laughs> no, no, it's all right. So yeah, oh, I've had them stuck, but we will get them out. So. Yeah, because what will they be on? They'll be on like eight hundred or something. Yeah, eight hundred twenty-six point yeah. fives on them now, and yeah, I think you can go to a thirty point five now, but yeah, well, that's maybe for the next one. So we'll that's see it. How it goes. Keep so. that one on the shopping list. Yeah, we'll keep and has it surprised you where they will go? Yeah, cause... very much. Yeah, very much. Yeah, yeah. If the front axle goes in with the and the steering axle, you're you're in the gate in a way. And what's the uh... What's the new one like compared to the older jumbos? Yeah. You know, how have they moved on? Would um, you say? The moving headboard, I mean, they do a, a, a larger range, but we're maybe just shy in horsepower for that. Yeah, because um, that's it, because you've got the 7,000 and the 8,000 yeah. now, haven't they? I'd love an 8,000, but I think we need bigger tractors for that's that. That's a big one, that one yeah, isn't it's it? a big, big machine. Well, that would be the short chop that's as well, isn't it? That would be good. Is that something you'd be quite. Ah, maybe up someday, for? yeah, yeah. You know, those ones drop it nice enough, but yeah. yeah.